Hi, I'm Captain Grant Coppin with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. Over here on the Portland shoreline, the bite's been good when the wind's been light. Uh, we have had both this week. We've had some really strong winds. We've had some really light winds. Uh, but I've been coming over here on the lighter wind days, uh, throwing live shrimp at the broken down boat houses and boat docks. Even some of the boat docks that are repaired have been good early. Um, there's been a hot croaker bite over here for the trout. If you want to come over here and play with the croaker, this is where I recommend coming. Um, if you want to get a little mixture of fish, both trout and uh, drum, the live shrimp's the way to go. But just come over here on a calm day, and that's when, when this fishing is going to be real good. Uh, with the storm out in the Gulf, the tide's really high, so just get tighter to the shoreline. Normally, I would fish the tips of these piers. Watch out, there's a lot of wade fishermen in here coming off. A lot of the guys that live in this neighborhood are, are wade fishing out here because they know the fishing's really good right now. Uh, so you can get up tight to the shore, even inside the pier, the side of the pier, uh, not necessarily just the tip of the pier. Well, we finally got that high tide we've been waiting for uh, in the back in the oasis. All these little fingers and back lakes, when that when we get those approaching storms and the tide comes in these are the first places to fill up with bait and fill up with fish and come back here fish these little back lakes and fingers these are the spots where you can take your kayak or get your little skiff back up in here um, fish some of these spots that uh, you can go way back these little long channels that go way back up in here um, and you can get some sight fishing opportunities throwing uh, just a weightless gulp fluke or um, uh, you know a little light jig head back in here because those fish they don't get targeted very much and this is a spot where you can come and really get away from the crowd get away from the other boats especially if you've got one of those shallow running boats or a kayak and get lost back in here and really enjoy uh, getting some unique uh, sight fishing opportunities. All right, I'm gonna talk about two spots in Oso. The first one's back here behind the college in the, um, right behind the gas station on Ennis and in Ocean. This is a good spot to come when that tide gets high. There is a ton of bait in here. Um, finger mullet, uh, big pony mullet, horse mullet, all back in here. And I like to come in here when the water is real high because this little bridge right here, the water passes through and creates a drain. And those fish can come in here, especially on a strong southeast wind. It blows the bait and the fish through here. They come back and forth. Um, but all the little sand patches and, and grass pockets, uh, really fill up with fish uh, you'll see all the bait when you're back here um, just make a long loop if you're in a boat uh, you can put your kayak in right on the side of the road or just park your truck there at the stripes and uh, just walk it in it's a good walk-in spot it's a good uh, boat spot to drift in uh, live shrimps working if the shrimp aren't or if the uh, perch aren't too bad uh, catch both drum and reds. The uh, sorry, the other spot I was going to talk about was over here at the Mud Bridge. With the full moon at night right now, uh, I'll, there's a good night bite at the Mud Bridge, and they're catching mainly drum out here. Shrimp's the ticket. Uh, just come here right around uh, the full moon. That's up it's uh, up probably around 11 12 o'clock uh, it said as high as because when I wake up in the morning I see it starting to set so about 11 12 o'clock maybe one there's a really good uh, drum bite here at the mud bridge I'm Captain Grant Coppin thanks for watching